Damasinde. Is it who? That's your name? Aha. Can we clap for excellence, the Vice President, for receiving our official jersey for the Uganda cricket? That's our team kit. And thank you for always leading us and making our flag fly high. Allow me to bring you warm greetings from His Excellency General Yori Kaguta Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and Mama Janet Kataha Museveni, the First Lady and the Minister of Education and Sports. They bring you warm greetings. So allow me again to congratulate them. Congratulate His Excellency the President and Mama on their Golden Jubilee of marriage. Congratulate them. I welcome the officials from the International Cricket Council to Uganda. We are proud to host the International Cricket Council Men's Cricket World Cup Tour before the commencement of the Cricket World Cup Tournament in India. The people of Uganda are pleased to associate with this great sports event. And it is my firm belief that in the coming years, Uganda must be able to compete at the Cricket World Cup. We cannot be contented with the remaining, with the remaining as spectators. Uganda has produced a number of outstanding sportsmen and sportswomen in athletics, boxing, football, etc. We shall continue to support our young people to hoist Uganda's flag at great sports events. Since 1986, the NRM government has been struggling with the economic recovery, expansion, diversification, and transformation. Given the low base from, the, from which we started, we had not paid sufficient attention to sports. However, now that we have registered significant improvements in the economy, it is time to focus on building more stadiums and training facilities across the country for all sports disciplines. The benefits of sports are many. It is good for fitness. It helps you fight against diseases which are associated with sedentary lifestyles. It is good for entertainment and also tourism. Finally, I once again wish to express my appreciation to the International Cricket Council for according us the opportunity to host the Men's Cricket World Cup Tour. I thank you all. I would like to welcome all of you to State House to be part of this very important function as we host the 2023 FIFTA World Cup Trophy Tour in preparations for the Men's Cricket World Cup, a one-day cricket event organized by International Cricket Association, shall it be hosted in India from 5th to 19th October 2023. Allow me to take this opportunity to thank, first of all, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda and Mama, the First Lady, for allowing us to use or to host this Cricket World Cup trophy here in State House. And I would like to request us to clap for the President for that and mama. Uganda is only one of three countries in Africa that have been given the privilege to host this, this trophy as a countdown to the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup in October, which will be held in India. The other two countries are Nigeria and South Africa. And these countries have been selected uh, by virtue of, of their significance to the sport, uh, both in Africa and, and globally. Uganda is a, is, is, a, is a promising nation. We have a lot of talent. We have the, the, 
the, the population, we have, the, we have things in place that, that have gotten us to this position. And to make it specifically, we are the first country on the continent in this tour to be visited by this trophy. So we must take this as a very, very important occasion. Your Excellency, when we look at such things happening, sometimes people think they happen by default, but these are not by default. It is by design that we are having this happening at this time in Uganda. The coming of this trophy to Uganda has a number of significances, one of which is the realization of the potential of our people in the sport of cricket. Much as we are not going to be in the World Cup in India, but this was considered and that's one of the reasons that's why this country, this, this country is having this tour and the trophy is in Uganda. Secondly, uh, this trophy is going to work as a motivation to our many cricket players. And like the CEO said, we were supposed to have been in uh, India in October, but we missed by a very, very small margin. So much as we shall not be there physically, we shall be there phys uh, spiritually. And we know the next one that is coming, given the support that we are getting from the government, we must be in the next World Cup as Uganda cricket team.